What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Boosted Jaden YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you through the lockup and we're going to just see what's left to install on the cars to what I have to date. Let's go have a look. Here we have our seat rails which are the brand... Oh, focus. We have Bright Seat Rails which are the original company Bride from Japan. So here is a left and a right rail for those front seats so we can get some bucket seats later on for the TM Swift because the seats that are in it, although I really like the leather, it is going to need seats and harnesses later on. Our newest friend to the TM. Anyways. So we've got the seat rails. We have got a Recaro bucket seat. Which has got the slots. But it hasn't got the slots down here for a harness. That also has a seat rail. Which is... So that's our left and right seat rails. And then it's down and behind here. The rail for this seat which that came out of the daily swift and will most likely end up going back in the daily swift that red seat and then those seat rails will make something out of it for the tm next we have our uh, triforce middle pipe which this pipe was removed from TM Swift and TM got the 2.5 inch one so it's bigger so we can do the more boost that one will just go on the daily Swift and that'll hopefully make it a bit more throaty I think the one currently on the daily Swift is factory but I couldn't say because it does have the end tip which is burnt and all of that and then well, we already know that the TMs is aftermarket. So, we have got that middle pipe for the daily. Seat rails for the TM. A bucket seat for probably the daily Swift. That spoiler's just spare parts, really. No real use for that. Up the top there. If I can even get used to it. This is the cover. That belongs to the TM. Oh, that's yeah, the cover that belongs to TM, which we use that to cover it. However, I've been quite slack on doing that. I did go out and buy a low profile jack just for TM and some cool stands, which I'm going to actually have to stand on them to show you is this. This is the original Suzuki Sport Grill from the Daily, which doesn't fit anything now. This is the gold beat rush front brace, which that replaces your front chassis rails. I have all intentions of putting that on the TM Swift, however I can't at the moment because in order to fit it, the intercooler piping here, here, it would all have to be re-welded and moved in order to fit it. And that just gets shoved up there. That bumper will be getting thrown away to the dump. Um, what have we got here? Nothing. Oh, here's the spare sensor. Which is what I thought was the problem with the daily, but isn't. Here we have... These are pre-cut out. See, there's the hole in them. These are the bits that fit the seat belts. So, when it comes time to fitting the rear pillar brace, which would go... I'll show you where it would go. That brace would go from here to here. So it pretty much is a third bar that goes on the top here. And these plastic bits get fully replaced with it. I'm just unsure because of the... A good gap to take that one off. 
I'm probably gonna have to unbolt some of the cage to get that off so that's a project for another day and then we've got a second one of those braces over here which is for the daily so they'll both have rear pillar braces this is the ultra racing rear top brace which I removed from the daily swift because I'm gonna fit this Corsho rear top brace because see it's quick release and it's brand new it's still wrapped and I like the fact that it's got the foam padding on it because in my opinion it's gonna look really good right here and then this beat rush one will go into the daily swift and then that spare ultra racing one will probably be sold or given away one or the other this is the megaphone which does belong to the daily swift i disconnected it thinking that had something to do with why her check engine light was on nope nothing to do with it this is the tm swift's vacuum cleaner which is one of those blacker and decker vacuums brand new never used the daily also will get one as well has got one as well so they both get on board vacuum cleaners which plug into the siggy lighter and they're actually really powerful vacuums are really good vacuums like can't ask for a better vacuum as a little on board one than that this is the little cover which goes under the hood somewhere a tm came with it as spare parts we've got some spare monster sport hoses which they go to the probably tm actually keep them as spares there's some shocks and some springs and then the most of them so i've got two full sets of the triforce triforce company effect suspension which it has this bar here which connects to it and then that allows for bigger camber which i will eventually put that suspension in but what the previous owner put in it which you know, aren't going to be able to see it sorry but it's got a german quality suspension in it i have got down in here i don't know if i'd be able to free one so there's two of these braces okay two of these these go from subframe to radiator support and pretty much they're just like an underneath brace these are very rare very hard to come by so we have literally every single brace possible for the tm and then like i said two sets of spare suspension with brand new top hats and the bar which is very important to do it they're all in very good condition i did get some monsoon shield spares for tm because it doesn't have them but the more i think about it this car probably shouldn't have them probably just be better to keep them as spares for another swift have got a racing harness which is about which is spares for the tm both cars get one of these um packs each which is what's in them they get these packs in them so we've got jumper leads cotton gloves a wind-up torch an emergency brake tool and a cool emergency triangle so both cars get their own emergency kit and then there's the second one for the other car here's a set of genuine rear floor match removed from a car that was at the wreckers with 10,000 k's on it it was brand new and the carpet in the back was so nice and i thought well the tm doesn't have carpet in the back so we might try and trim it to fit one day that's just a fish kit don't even worry about that oh here we have two racing corsho tow hooks which are for the tm probably one for the tm and one for the daily if I can hook both of them up to TM, then that's what I would probably do. The cool thing with the harnesses is that I can actually probably get another one and use that one as one of the two. This cargo blind was removed from the TM Swift when it had 
the roll cage fitted it was the only thing that wouldn't fit back into it I happen to think that we might be able to trim it and have it still fit but it is a bit busted that's the one thing that's better condition in the the daily swift there compared to TM is that it had a better one of these anyways we have plenty of this kind of stuff from Japan in here which I don't know maybe we could you know trial it out in a video pretty much they're just these you probably recognize them people that deal with fresh imports these little kits that you get and it comes with the sealant I've got some Japanese chamois in there a Japanese envelope with the receipt for it in there which I thought was quite cool the little sticker thing which you'd magnet to your back window so that's pretty cool I like to try and collect up this kind of stuff because you just never know really we may or may not be able to do something with it but if anything in my opinion it's just all good stuff to have this is one of the top of the line emergency tyre repair kits this one's fully built in you don't have to fiddle around putting the fluid into the tyre first this one does it all automatically so I swiped that a couple of years back and kept it particularly for my Mazda that I had but as that was sold to purchase TM it will actually go towards the TM most likely because there'd be nothing worse this has the Beat Sonic in it which that's nothing really to look at it's just a special high powered amplifier that is supposed to enhance all the speakers in the audio by like 500 watts they're real 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 cool devices actually it's called a beat sonic i am very unsure whether i'm going to put that in either of the cards or not but we'll see here we've just got another like lot of glass kit probably some nano nano gloss coat tech coat something um over here we've got so these are oh let's pull them out and i'll show you if i don't drop them these are the lights which you've got a light up here which this is special led lighting which was an option from suzuki sport which is going to go into this and then the console in this because it's all one piece and the lights in this one would swap that whole piece swap all the carbon and that onto that one and then in the daily swift it kind of makes sense really because see that one's all damaged and garged up and smashed so we'd just swap the console from that one because that one's stock and put it you know swap them around really so it makes life a bit easier so we've got these cool suzuki sport lights to put in which i rigged up to a ciggy lighter just to test them to see them working we have the led light in the cup holder and we have the led light in here so that's you know pretty much what they do they light up a bit more and i think that that will go really well in this console especially with our cool white heater which won't focus and our cool white light up there. Oh, that white Suzuki Sport Club. I've had over 20 messages about that just last week alone. A lot of people are real interested in that clock, eh? The eye touch. Nothing will focus today, so I'm not even going to try. But those are the cup holders and the LED lighting. These are a little bit special. These are TM Square, which has the blue light on it and other indicated lights these mirrors came with tm when it was first imported and they're custom because see it used to be the pearl white somebody's put a wrap over that mirror or they've swapped the cover or something but see tm square so there is two of them just so that you believe me there's the other one i'm not pulling that off the shelf to show you no point they're the same these are something a little bit special that well they can't fit in any model of car that i have but these are jdm quality curtains which would go in people movers possibly a low rider car that sort of thing this is one of those um 
These go in the front bumper apparently, so these are to the TM Square, and these are so rare, and before anyone asks, no I will not part with them, they belong to the square and they stay with the square, but if I grip it properly, it would, wouldn't would sit in that way. Maybe this one goes on this side. Oh god. Yeah, this one would go in there and then it would sit sort of like down in there. But see that pipe's in the way, just like I told you. It would need to be re-welded in order to fit these lights and the golden brace up the top there. I do have a big fire extinguisher ready for when I screw up my electrical or something. If I move these CDs out of the way somehow. Here's an air horn kit, which will be for the Daily Swift, because the TM's already got one. Here's a first aid kit, and what's cool about this first aid kit is... If I open it up... Check this out. This is a really old school first aid kit. Now here's the PAMO, and let's check the date on it. To give you an idea of how old this first aid kit is. There it is. Look at that, 6th of 1995, they expired. That means that this kit expired in 1995. I removed that from a car that came into the car groomers quite a number of years ago. And... Well, I like to collect up the little pieces because, well, I thought it was cool. Here's my trusty old tripod for when I'm filming. My very own personal car kit with my foamer. The um, product that I use, Gold Class. Mag wheel cleaner, nice big brush. Mm, I don't really use the tyre shine, I generally put more of a ultimate restorer on it that oil was given to me by the mechanic for TM look synthetic semi I was absolutely disgusted that they put the cheap one in it that's right always cut the corners when it's not your own car eh anyways engine flush pen right dot three brake fluid fully synthetic 1040 which was from an oil change this is the oil that the TM's supposed to take synthetic advanced racing oil 1030 there's the brake fluid that TM takes dot 4 sport brake fluid from TRD here is oh, this is for the daily swift which is a new one of these with the monster sport sticker on it because it has got the short shifter kit in it, so should really make it look a little bit more to stand out. This is all like little spare um, pieces. This is so that we can fit a flare to the to the TM Swift because the TM didn't have the flare holder. So I would take like a, a JDM flare, for instance. And it sits in this little holder here, like that. And then that sits on the floor. However, I do have in here, oh, that's my cool light for TM. So we can kind of magnet it to the roof. You can put it on the doors. And it's got like a, a red light as well. And this one's the one that I've been looking for. So. See, they just sort of like flash the ones and then it would sit in that same holder. Either or will be fine for the TM. Probably use the electric ones because, yeah. But we should really let one of these off in an upcoming video. I do want to cover a decent video on these flares and how they work and why they're fitted to Japanese cars and why you're not meant to have them in other countries. Over here... This piece of carpet here is actually a cutout of the, just the driver's passenger felt, which will actually end up going in the daily. These two pieces are the pieces. Oh, oh, Jesus, fell backwards. 
There are the pieces that cover all of this, so it looks kind of felty. So, need to put those in, but I want to wait till I have a bit more patience before I'm installing that kind of stuff. This is the cover that goes underneath the the engine and covers the oil filter in the daily because it fell off one day so I just put it in here what else have we got that's the license plate light off the front of that which I removed when I did the bumper and because it played up I didn't put it back on here we have the TM Swift's factory steering wheel which that's nice isn't it nice it's original um wait a second you will remember not that long ago that i installed an under the seat sub in the tm swift now this is a second one and because i've got these um special sets of avs in theory we will be able to have two under the seat subs in TM Swift because something that I decided a few weeks ago was that one of these subs is just not sufficient enough and then we have our other controller mounted here but we will end up getting this one installed as well so we've got another under sub seat to under seat sub to put in it this box I was going to show you but I can't get it open because then I have to tape it back up again but Pretty much it's just spare parts, so there's three sets of spotlights, maybe four, a couple of boss kits, an airbag cancel kits, and then some misc. That could be anything. This was removed from TM when we fitted that aluminium greedy one, which that's okay. My special gloves for when I'm cleaning mag wheels, etc. Always keep a lot of spare tape. This is another one of those... Um, thingy my jobby who's it's just one of those ear bag uh, not ear bag ear pump thingies good to have them for spares I don't know what's down in here all my cleaning products probably under there uh, up here these will line the cup holders of TM when I eventually decide to put that stuff in and heaps of just small little fitting pieces really heaps of spare nuts and bolts clips spare other clips relays fuses little um, you know these little bumper tabs screws spare you know whatever those are little clippy things to stick wires in to keep things tidy and brackets and a switch thing of fuses heaps of wire i mean you just get the picture light bulbs you know always keep a lot of this stuff for spares seat belts you know you, you gotta have all of this for spares um some of, some of my tools, some of the windshield washers, restore all. I had to come back with a fresh camera and battery on another day. Anyways, for you guys, it's going to be a couple of seconds. For me, it's been about a week. Anyways, let's continue on. This light's pretty cool. I don't know if I've already showed you some of this stuff, so we're just going to have to... If it overlaps, well, I can't do much about it, sorry. This light magnets to the car, and then it flashes red. You lift it up, and it becomes like a flasher. And then it's a flashlight as well. So that's pretty cool, and it's Japanese. Removed from an import. And then we've got four of those flares, plus another five and a draw down there which is pretty this one here is all right because this one is a glass breaker as well which is pretty interesting and then it's you know the normal flare too got a little light which i thought it was going to be a lot brighter so i'm not going to use that we have an antenna which will probably go on this car because so it'll only come to about there it's a tiny one but this one's really fuzzy 
so I'll probably replace it with this one and then swap the two on the cars there and then there, of course there's that little bit that goes on the bottom of it a stereo remote for TM because it didn't actually come with one so I got it one well I actually got it two as you can see there this is the tag that came off my daily swift when it was imported so I kept it uh, some number, not number, steering wheel boss kit screws. These are pretty cool. These are um, weed caps, which have weed caps. I said weed cap because it's got a picture of weed on it, but they will go on there like that, which I'll show you is what it'll look like, actually. Uh, that just looks heaps better. Kind of goes with, you know, the aftermarket Monster Sport ones, which they turn some cool metal caps because those ugly little plastic ones aren't very nice so we've got a set of four of those and we've also got a set of hypersonic ones as well the camera is blurry and i'm not going to try and correct it i just want to get through it as quick as possible these came with when i brought this bar which is the rear top brace which is going to be the new one for TM. It came with these, and I actually don't know what they do, so they don't seem important, so don't really need them. Got a couple of these um, seat belt. I don't actually know what they're called, but they're seat belt somethings. This goes to the TM's. It kind of goes, I think it goes, underneath the window wiper motor. This, the mechanic gave it back to me and said, I don't know where it goes. How unprofessional is that? Didn't even put it back on. Anyways, I don't think it's that important because my daily Swift doesn't even have one of these at all. So, anyways, that's a Japanese good luck charm. They hang them in their windows and it's meant to bring them good luck. I don't think there's much else in there. I'm going to put that back together. Like put all this. Oh, I'll just do it on camera actually. Why not? How I want it. And then I'm going to show you the inside of the glove box of TM. Because I don't even remember what's in there. Okay, so there's a window. Not a window. A cigarette lighter socket. Pair of sunglasses, which aren't sort of any use. A torch. Another two flares. Hmm, another two. I for forgot about those two. Which I think that this one would work. Oh, it did work. So that's pretty cool. I just pulled the rest of the contents out of the glove box to make it easier. This is an actual Japanese good luck charm, which I keep in this cool Japanese folder, which sits in the TM's glove box just for good luck. This is for the wheel nuts, which I shouldn't keep it in the glove box, but since it's in the unit, and the light bulb, which goes to that rear, you know, the light up there that light when it fell out i also noticed that there's a lot of um i'm not even going to say it on camera but it's not very good down in here there's a couple of these this is a car mate one which i don't know if you can see it the brand's right there car mate that one's a like little one but what they give you in japan for your air freshness so that's all right, and then there's two of this one. So this is like a more up there brand, and it kind of smells like a perfume. Yeah, no, it smells good. And then there's a third one in the back there. See, there's two of them. The carbon doesn't seem to sit on here very well either. Should really sort that out. Steering wheel's missing, for obvious reasons. I don't think there's anything else in here. A whole lot of paper shoved in the door. Okay, moving on. Down in the... This is the Daily Swift's drawer. And this drawer has some booklets, which are from Japan. 
I kind of try and keep the cool ones. It's about the do's and the don'ts in Japan and what the police will hit you up about, the basics, and about safety of driving. And this one's more of a, your rules in the city and how you deal with, you know, situations with your car. You know, say it breaks down or say there's a traffic accident or the traffic lights stop working. It tells you all of that. It's in Japanese, but... I just think it's super cool to put with the service history of the car because it's like the car did start its life off in Japan and you know anyways what do we have here this is a new cover which will go in the back of the TM which goes you know where the seat belt I'll show you as it's just easier oh I can't show you there's so much stuff in there um, I'll show you in this one actually. It goes, see here, where the seat bolts go. So it goes in there. These are very cool. There's two of these, and these are Pioneer Casareria satellite speakers, which these speakers are 100 watts a piece. And they will be getting mounted in TM. And one will kind of go... I need to adjust it, actually. I got it adjusted. And it would just sit on that little pillar, kind of facing the passenger. And then same on the other side, because there is two of these. Which I only got these last week, so I was real happy to have scored them, actually. I also scored last week, week before, this is a Japanese TV, which I liked it because it's a 9 inch screen, it hooks into the back of your, um, your headrest things on here, but because they don't come on the backs of these seats, I'm not too sure how we're going to fit it, or whether we'd keep it for another car, if anything I only really got it to for experimental purposes so it's a strata i temporarily hooked it up to one of these plugs as i do with everything just to see if it worked and sure enough yes it did and also on here they should be here will be the avs so you can hook an av up to it to get it going so a tv receiver could probably hook a little I don't know, maybe a PlayStation, a DVD player, I don't know. There'd be something that it could be, you know, used for. So I thought that that was awesome. So, a screen, which we'll put it there while we're going through here. The Daily Swift Suzuki Sport Earth Kit, which, um... I pulled it off thinking that it would help with the check engine light problem and that, but nah didn't make a difference at all this is a little pocket which goes on the front of the glove box which I don't know if I'm gonna put it in but it's from Japan got a dash cam here which this one's is just a spare camera but it's from Japan it's got active safety G sensor GPS full HD recording it's got no SD card but it just mounts on the window got a spare old radar detector which that'll probably never go in anything because it's too old and then there's our other speaker so they're up here got a couple of spare daily swift wheel nuts good to have for spares i suppose this is for the cabin air filter because these little tabs break and this is for the daily swift so i got it on new one of those this is just a little first aid kit, which should be in whichever car I'm always driving. And then this first aid kit here is going to be for the Daily Swift. And then we've got another one in another drawer for the TM, which you'll see later. This is a spare handle, which when the roof bars were fitted in that car, these had to come off. So one broke and one spare parts here's the megaphone to the daily swift's pa it's not currently installed in it but i do plan to get it going eventually this is a lighter that i found in a japanese car 
I'm actually going to try and get this to focus. Wow, it did focus. Check that out. This is a Japanese lighter, and I found it in a Japanese van when I was working back at the car groomers, and it actually works. So that's pretty cool. Got a little Bluetooth um, doggle, which I don't actually know what it does. A Pioneer Casarera dash cam, which is also pretty cool. I think we're going to do a couple of dash cams in each car. Definitely front and back in the daily, and definitely all four sides of this one. You know, try and get all the corners, rear window, side windows, front window. Try and get some good views going on. And then there's, you know, the connector for it to get it to go. It's just one of those plugs. Hmm, the focus seems to be working all right now. Some tools, which each car will get a little tool kit as well. You know, just with the essentials, spanners, screwdrivers, that kind of stuff. Um, this is a screen, which is a 2.2 inch... Pretty much it's a Japanese radar detector, so yeah, that was also removed from an import, which, you know, if we went for the Japanese theme of the cars, right, it would have had little bits like this fitted in it when it was there. So I just kind of collected it all up thinking that I would, I don't know, make the cars feel like they was, that where they belonged, where they came from. One of these is the card reader, this top one, that's the card reader that I removed from that car. For some reason I did decide to keep it, because it's just cool for its history really. See, it pops a little card out of it, and then there's a second one there which would fit this car, except for this car never had ETC on it because there's no thing on the window. And no evidence that a card reader was ever in it. There is, however, in the, the Daily Swift. So that goes down in there. That's just the paperwork for the card reader. And then there's the plug to get the detector going. Some screwdrivers. Just a few little mist bits, really. Nothing too exciting now. So I'm going to repack that drawer and then we'll move on to the next one. The next drawer, we have a tyre folder, which is from Japan, which is for all the wheel alignment sheets in the Daily Swift, or TM Swift, one or the other, I haven't decided yet. That's my, oh, that's an old service history, don't need that anymore. That doesn't belong to anything of mine. There's a Nardi steering wheel, which is for spares. I did try and sell it, but no one wanted it. There's the charger for my booster pack, which is pretty um, standard, really. It's just a charger. There's another card reader with more paperwork. A laptop, which doesn't really do anything for me. Moving on to which drawer next. Um, this bottom one. This is all the paperwork to all of the cars. It goes all the way down. There's all the booklets that go to the Daily Swift. And then there's some of the TM service history in a folder. And then there's TM's other service history in a folder. And then there's the Daily Swift's big folder. So that's like, I can't even get my hand around all that paperwork. There's so much of it. So that's that. Got a couple of um, extra flares in here, which you just don't want to see them, but there's some extra flares going on. And some window mirror deflector things, which they'll probably never go on, they're just ridiculous. And then some blue tint film which was used to tint the lights at the front of the Daily Swift which I can probably show you this actually you might want to see it now you got the little tint on the bottom of the screen which it looks quite um looks quite good actually I quite like it 
so I got some for spare because you know just in case so that's mainly paperwork and that anyways next drawer moving on in this drawer we have a handbrake cover for TM which it's a Suzuki Sport which is quite cool so that's for TM which we're now going to start having focusing issues but that's alright this is a Recaro it goes on the seat belt so it would go like right there basically and then it goes over here and it's a genuine Recaro which is cool the previous owner of TM thought that these were really rare and worth a lot of money don't really know myself but they're pretty cool nonetheless and then two just standard leather ones for the back which is pretty you know cool so all the seat belts get one and then oh, I need to pull these out safely these are monster sport carbon fiber door trims which I'll show you so there's two of them and then they go just down on there you know just to brighten up that interior to match because it's real carbon and to match all of the other carbon in the car and it's all like you know proper plastic it's not like that's a whole cover some molding of it so that's pretty out of it there are some for here as well but I don't know where they are they're missing oh no I actually slammed the door with it down there what am I doing just quickly inspect it for damage because they were mint when I got them funny story I actually brought these twice well I brought them once first set came and then well they were smashed and broken they were all like cracked and smashed and the previous owner of TM was meant to do a um, report for insurance to get me the money back to buy some more but he ended up just selling me more and then well never really heard anything about that claim but it doesn't really matter got some of these which these go on the seat belts so it'd go on there and it gives it that real you know red look which these are also for the two front ones down here this is a throttle controller no it's not it's actually a turbo timer which this was for TM because well it needs to have a turbo timer so got it this one and this cool thing because it comes as a plug it will actually plug in right here or we'll replace that switch because that billion fan controller needs to come out because we've got a new one for it which isn't here at the unit unfortunately I can't show you but it's coming so you'll see it eventually this is the controller for the heated seat pads for when we eventually put heated bucket seats in TM. That's right, those rails over there, they are going to be for the bucket seats that I create that are going to be heated and, and air-cooled, which will be pretty cool. And then I just rearrange all of this back down nicely put that up there what's in this box oh that's another kind of wiring setup for a dash camera and see this one hooks into a and we can get it to focus well it hooks into a fuse anyways and then there's another one there for accessory and then just a standard earth so you can actually do that one off the fuse box which is quite cool it, isn't fused yeah it is because it's hooked into a fuse so you know that's the safest way to probably do stuff and here is the heated seat pads which there's four of them there and then a spare pivot earth wire which i don't think that'll focus no you'll just have to believe me so i'll just put this drawer back together quickly 
the last drawer. This drawer is TM's. Wow, I like it anyways. It's my favourite drawer, this one. Mercedes Benz brand new first aid kit for TM. If we're going to put a first aid kit in TM, we'll go to the best company for that. This is a fuel door, which it's actually real chrome. And the way it opens up, and if I can focus it, there's the brand there. And then return it out of focus. And then it's literally a chrome, you know, a fuel door. So that'll be for TM when I eventually get round to putting it on. We've got in here, in this box here in the corner, these are the injectors, which we'll zoom in. These are the injectors, grams 550cc, which these injectors are for when we do the more boost. And there's the instructions which is pretty cool they sit in their own little box there this is the big dash cam that i got for tm it's got a five inch screen and a 360 degree front viewing angle it's the biggest dash cam i've ever seen and it's made by pixard and there's the model number i couldn't find much of it online I know it says made in China, but it came out of an import. So I kept that because I thought it was just so cool. You know, I like to recycle the cooler goodies. This came with TM when I brought it. It says clean and tuning on it, and then it's got this little thing on it. I don't know what that's all about, but it's a three-way power socket. Came with TM. I'm not going to use this for TM because I've got it a different one. We actually got it this one which this one is a five socket one with switches which is pretty cool made by that company and it's just overall a lot bigger and you know you can mount that in the glove box and hook up to whatever whenever really and then down over what else have we got in here this is a smoking tray which in Japan you fold that up and then you can sit your cigarette on it when you're having a ciggy in the car. So they're quite, they were real popular in the late 90s I heard. They've since been phased out but you can probably still get them. This is a Japanese umbrella because if we're going to put little funny little goodies in the cars, well, if it came from Japan then I actually approve of it going into it because... You know, that was somebody's car that they had, and, you know, that was their umbrella. Not for the TM, of course, not for the daily either, but it's just a Japanese umbrella. This goes together as a pair, so these are the two bits that go to it. But this is a battery tray, which, if we zoom it in and get a good focus, it says Beat Rush on it, which Beat Rush... It's the same brand as quite a lot of the braces on this car. So I'm pretty happy that, you know, managed to get it that back. I think it had it when I originally went to buy the car, but maybe it got switched for another one. And then I later brought it back. Anyway, it's got a seatbelt stopper. Ah, that's what they're called. I was wondering what they were called. And then we've just got various different um, ones of those because we probably have those in the cars as well. And then here's another charger for a dash cam. And this is another dash cam, which is for TM. It's a Kenwood which is, you know, the wide angle. It's quite a nice one, actually. So it's also got one of those cameras. And then there's 30... These are these, um... JDM... washer bolt thingies. They're like... You can replace the screws on the car, which... 
They go sort of like see there, but TM's covered in the red ones all over it. And these are just, just extra ones really. Good to have, spare, what are they called? Sub, under the seat sub fuses, that's what they're called. Wow, it took a long time to get that out. Those are for winding up and down the suspension in the cars. I wouldn't do it myself, but it's good to have the tool, because you know, it did go to it. And I think that's just about everything. Well, not everything. This, yes, I like this. This is the Greedy Electronic Boost Controller, and it's, well, in my opinion, I think it's one of the flashiest ones that are out there. And it opens up like this, and it's brand new to my knowledge. Greedy. And then, of course, it's got all the sensors and the plugs. But then, there's the controller. That's the boost controller for this car. It's got a bit of moisture on it. Don't know what that's all about. So quite a flash little controller actually, which this would get mounted like we could put it like there. And then it's you can actually wind the boost up and down. So that's a part of the more boost that's getting done to the TM. So brand new in the box for when it eventually gets that. Thought it was an alright brand, greedy. These are your on record stickers which came off a van. They would sit on the windows like that. Which I thought was again pretty cool. And one for the other side of course. Here I'm not gonna open this one, but this is a pearl white the parking sensors, which are genuine parts from Suzuki. And uh, yeah, parking sensors for one of the cars, probably TM in the end. And I think that's that draw done. I'm going to put it back together and I think that's going to conclude this video. And to conclude off the video, here's the TM. And I thought that maybe we could do a quick cold start just to finish off the video. So I keep the key separate from the car when I'm not using it. Wow, it's really weird without a steering wheel. So with the key in here, so this is a complete cold start, I haven't started it today. What's the temperature of the water? 17 degrees, it's got a low battery, it's low on fuel. Everything seems lighted up. And then you push the Suzuki Sport. <laughs> Oh, that was difficult to start, wasn't it? We haven't got the battery catching up with very good voltage, have we? Oh yeah, there it goes. 14. It's good, no lights on, apart from the fuel light, brake light, door open light, seatbelt light. Boost gauge is working. Dirty they are. They're filthy. In fact, I've never ever wiped this whole car down because I wanted to keep it in better condition, but maybe I think that that's a wrong suggestion. It's not that bad, it's just a little bit dirty. Okay, it needs a clean. I'll get onto it one day. Look, there's even leaves up on the dash. Crazy. Alright, so yeah, it starts, it runs. Okay, I shouldn't really rev it why it's cold. So I'm going to let it warm up. That's going to conclude this video. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs down. 
That'll help me to improve these videos for you guys to watch. Follow me on Instagram, I post far more there than I do anywhere else, and I try and give previews, well not previews, but I try and give a little sneak peek on upcoming videos and when to expect them. So follow me there. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, because I would like to see us get to 150 within a week. It's only three away, so I'm sure we can do it. With that, I'm going to get out of here. I suggest you do the same thing. Thank you so much for watching this extremely long video, and I'll catch you in the next one.